this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. And another video inside of Stampy's uh, lovely world. Today in this video, I am going to be joined by... Lee Bear! Good morning, Lee Bear. I don't know why I insist to always announce that you're going to be here, because <laughs> we always know you're going to be here. It's like announcing that the carpet on the floor is going to be here. You are always uh, here, every single Lovely World video, and I absolutely love it. But I'm not only going to be joined by Lee Bear today, I am also going to be joined by Amy Lee. Good morning, Amy Lee. Welcome to the video. And uh, today we're going to have lots of fun, because we are going to be playing a mini game all video today. And I know uh, there's some of my my favourite videos to make and some of your favourite videos to watch. So uh, yeah, let's go and uh, get started. But of course, before we get started, I need to fill my belly full of breakfast. And my breakfast is, as always, going to be a cake. No, step back, Amy. I saw you eyeing up my cake. Come on, you you can have a, an egg. There you go. You can have an egg for breakfast and I'll have a cake. Nom, 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 nom. Mm. Ah, there we go, there we go. I'm now full of energy and of course full of cake <laughs> and ready to, to start the day. Uh, but before we go and start playing our minigame, uh, we're going to go and head over to the uh, the love garden uh, to see who the new person is uh, that has been added to it. And uh, today the person I'm adding to my love garden is Owen. And the reason I'm adding Owen is because he sent me this picture of him with his homemade Stampy Cat, Barnaby and Stampy Cat face bed sheet. And I think it looks really cool. He looks so happy there. And how cuddly does that Stampy cat look. <laughs> Looks like the most soft and cuddly thing I've ever seen. So thank you so much uh, for sending me the uh, the picture, Owen, and welcome to my love garden. Right then, on to the, the today's business. Uh, we're playing a mini game uh, to decide who is going to be the employee of the month at uh, my new clean machine laundrette, uh, which you may have seen me uh, building in the uh, the last few episodes. And uh, so yeah, that's uh, what we're going to be doing. And I'm going to explain what the, uh, the game is and how we play it uh, once we get over there. But first, I'm going to decide which dog uh, is going to be joining me for the uh, the video. And so who should we go for today? Let's have uh, Benji. Would you like to join me today? Uh, if you'd like me to, to take you with me, uh, why don't you have a long straight tail? And he does. He has a long straight tail. So therefore, <laughs> I'm going to take uh, Benji with me. And uh, the game uh, is kind of just over here in front of the uh, the big fun land sign, uh, just a little bit uh, past the, uh, the clean machine. And uh, so yeah, let's go and head over there. And I'm going to explain exactly uh, what it is that we need to do uh, in the game. It's going to be uh, quite a fun one, but also quite a tricky one. It's, uh, uh, it's very impossible to complete the game fully, uh, but that's part of the challenge. And who knows, maybe one of us is going to do really well and uh, we might be able to, to complete it. But this is the uh, this is the prize essentially. This is the uh, the clean machine laundrette, and the the prize is going to be a big sign uh, up in the laundrette saying "Employee of the Month," and then whoever uh, was the uh, the winner of the game. And here it is. This is the game. It is called Clean Them Clothes, and the idea is we need to clean some clothes. And uh, Amy uh, is just uh, relaxing in the uh, the water over there. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this is how the the game works. So over here uh, we have a a laundry basket, and inside is a whole load of smelly old dirty clothes. All of these clothes uh, used to be white uh, but yeah they've now gone all a bit smelly and uh, a bit dirty and we need to clean them uh, as part of the game and the way we're going to clean them is with soap and these here are our very big soap dispensers and you can see Lee's just climbed up on one of them uh, you can see over here we have the sud bud uh, here we have the the rinse prints over here we have the clean and sheen green gleam and then on the end we have the most difficult one the fruity fragrance and what you need to do is uh, what Lee bears are having a little bit of sneaky practice on is try to, to climb up on top of the dispensers doing these difficult jumps uh, and then when you get to the top you jump on a pressure plate and it fires out the uh, the soap you then clean the clothes and go and put them over here on the the washing line and the way we're going to do it is it's whoever uh, cleans the most clothes or who cleans the clothes the quickest. And there is a, a time limit uh, of four minutes. Uh, if you take over four minutes, uh, then yep, sadly, you have failed, and it's just however many clothes uh, you had in that four minutes. So uh, let's not waste any more time. Lee Bear, seen as you're eager and have had a, a little bit of practice already, uh, do you want to go and get ready? Uh, don't take the clothes yet, but when I say uh, your timer will start, and you need to see how many of those clothes you can clean. So you can begin, Lee Bear, in a three, two, one, go, go, go. The timer has started. So he's going to take uh, one one full set of clothes. Uh, you don't have to wear them, but you can if you want, Lee Bear. Um, I know they are a little bit smelly. He's got some rather horrible green looking clothes. I don't know what sort of bogey stains he's got over his clothes, but <laughs> he needs to, to go and clean them. So there we go. He's already got the first one very easily. So he now needs to go and uh, clean the clothes with the, uh, the Sud Bud soap. And there we go. He has uh, one nice uh, clean hat 
uh, hanging up on the the washing line and now on to the the next one which is the rinse prints and it's uh, definitely uh, more difficult than the first one but not difficult for Lee Bear he is blazing through this amazing that is two down already uh, in just about 30 seconds so he's going to go and uh, clean uh, another item of clothing now and then he can go and hang it up on the washing line there we go he's put up a, a nice vest there which is now uh, bright sparkly and uh, white and he's on to the next one which is the clean and sheen green gleam and this one's very tricky you need to jump around the corner and try and get onto the uh, the next ladder and uh, it seems like finally uh, Lee Bear has been slightly slowed down he was absolutely blazing uh, through the uh, the first two uh, but they are designed to be getting gradually harder so this one uh, is definitely harder than the uh, the first two but that final one as I'm sure we're going to see soon uh, is the uh, the most difficult one at all and there we go we managed to do it Lee Bear managed to, to get up and he was able to, to get the soap and now as quick as he can he wants to go and uh, try and uh, clean the clothes and then hang them up on the washing line he did that all so fast he now has uh, plenty of time uh, to try and complete the uh, the last one which is the uh, the fruity fragrance he's there put down a little bit of cake for uh, good luck and oh yeah something that I didn't mention about this one so uh, what's supposed to happen is uh, actually let's go and uh, uh, bring Benji a little bit back because there are arrows flying about yeah so what's supposed to happen is he uh, hits the uh, pressure plate and he gets hit by an arrow and that is able to knock him up so he can go and grab on the ladder but there is also a little bit of fruit on the inside of the uh, the dispenser as well uh, so sometimes you just get fruit coming out instead and I'm so tempted to steal Lee Bear's cake but I don't think he's going to be happy I'm just going to uh, eat this uh, pork chop instead I think I've got some, uh, some bread as well there we go I got my own cake as well nom 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 <laughs> even though he's playing the game he's still being nice and thrown down cakes for me and look how covered in arrows he is oh that was so close that was really close there he is gonna be completely covered in arrows by the the end of this and so yeah the trick is you want to try and uh, jump I think quite near the end of the block and so you want to kind of be hit by the arrow as you're jumping forward and you can just about get high enough to land on those ladders I oh, know I thought Lee Bear did it but he just about slipped off <laughs> he's got so many arrows all over him but the difficult thing is that you get hurt as well and so you want to make sure that you uh, keep your health up as well and of course sometimes you just get a little bit of fruit coming out but there we go he's managed to do it and that is the uh, the final piece of soap he's running to the washing line I am ready to stop the timer as soon as he's placed it down and there we go the timer has been stopped he managed to do it in two minutes and 47 seconds that was absolutely amazing a brilliant uh, performance there from Lee Bear and uh, he certainly uh, set uh, a difficult target uh, for the rest of us to to beat and um uh, Lee Bear you seem to have um you seem to have one or two arrows on you right now. Um, <laughs> that's uh, not a very uh, good look for you. <laughs> oh dear. So what I need to do now is I need to go and uh, reset all of the uh, the soap dispensers uh, so then Amy Lee uh, can have her go and see if she can do uh, any better than Lee. And it's going to be a very difficult uh, task to do indeed because Lee Bear did absolutely uh, amazing on his go there. So let's go and uh, add in the uh, the soap there to the, the Sudbud. Uh, let's go and add it into the uh, the Rinse Prince as well. And then we got the, um, uh, the Clean and Sheen green gleam <laughs> let's go and put the uh, the soap back down in there and then the on the end here the the fruity fragrance the most difficult one at all uh, so there we go all of the uh, the soap is ready uh, Amy are you ready to, to begin your game uh, I think she's there just uh, planning her moves yep are you ready so you've got to come over here when I say go you need to go and take out one full set of clothes and uh, you can go and begin your next round so you can start in three two one go 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 the timer has started so I think uh, what clothes is she going from the laundry basket Oh, she's gone for the uh, the slightly orangey stained clothes. I don't know. Maybe someone dropped those clothes in some orange juice and now we need to clean them. Uh, so on this one, Amy, uh, you need to step on the uh, the pressure plate, uh, which is going to lift up that block. Then you need to be really fast and try and jump and jump again. And oh, almost, almost. You got the timing right. You just need to try and jump a little bit higher and then land on the, the ladder without slipping off. There we go. Absolutely brilliant. And there is the first part of Amy's soap. Uh, so now she needs to go and try and clean the clothes and uh, run over here as fast as she can and uh, put them to hang up to dry uh, on one of these uh, washing lines so a uh, little bit slower than Lee Bear for the start but certainly not bad at all and Lee Bear did have a, a little bit of practice before he started so <laughs> that probably helped him out a, a little bit but now things start to get really difficult Lee really did make this one look easy uh, but it really isn't because you need to try and land on one ladder then you kind of need to try and jump out a little bit but then not too far so you fall but not too close so you bang into the ladder it is a really difficult job trying to jump from one ladder to the, uh, the, uh, the other like that uh, if you try maybe sprinting Amy 
If you try and like sprint forward and try and get on, uh, it might be a, a little bit easier. Uh, but to be honest, I do not envy you having to, to follow Lee Bear because Lee Bear did so amazing on his go. Uh, it's going to be really difficult uh, to be trying to, to follow him uh, after that because he made it look so absolutely easy. But then again, he did have uh, quite a lot of uh, practice uh, before we started though. <laughs> right then, so uh, come on Amy. So you want to try and line up and you want to try and make sure you're not banging into the, the side of the ladder, uh, but just want to try and get uh, onto this side rather than hitting it straight on. So yeah, from standing there, if you sprint forward quickly and then try and jump out to the, the side, uh, you should be just about able to grab it. And oh, you so nearly had it there. You you were on the ladder, but you just went a little bit too fast and slipped off the uh, the other side. Uh, another good technique uh, is to try and crouch. Uh, then that way, if you're crouching on the ladder, uh, you know you won't slip down. Uh, you just want to make sure you don't jump too far. But you had it so, so nearly close then. I think she's getting a little bit hungry. She's getting a, a little bit peckish uh, on the other uh, game here. Going to have a, a few apples. You've got to be quick though, Amy. You're still running out of time. The time is ticking. You're about uh, halfway uh, through your total time now. So uh, remember, it's not all about how fast you can do it. It's also about how many tops you can uh, get. And uh, I know Lee Bear did so amazing, but I haven't gone yet. So we have no idea uh, how well I'm going to do on any of these yet. So there's still plenty to play for. And oh, that was once again so close. You're getting so unbelievably close. And oh, once again, I think you've got the, the technique down now. Uh, you just need to try and get a, a little bit closer to the ladder. Uh, so then that way uh, you're going to be able to, to grab on and uh, get to the top. We also want to be careful though, because it is uh, starting to get a little bit dark. And we have got a few torches around here. Uh, but Lee Bear, I want you to be the uh, the number one bodyguard. I want you to be uh, looking out for uh, any googlies to make sure uh, they don't try and uh, invade our game. And oh, once again, Amy, I thought you had it there. I think you just need to jump a little bit closer uh, to the, uh, the ladder. Uh, just to make sure you can uh, grab onto it uh, a little bit quicker. You have uh, just over uh, one minute left on the, uh, the clock. And so you still have plenty of time uh, to hopefully at least uh, uh, get this one. And oh no, <laughs> I know it's very difficult. I did say before we started uh, that it is a, a very difficult game. And I know Lee there did make it look so easy. Come on, Amy, you got to keep going. you got to keep trying. You almost had it so many times, but you just slipped off. I believe in you, Amy. Come on, have a few more attempts. You can do it. I know you can do it, Amy. I know you can. Oh, it's only a game. Come on, Amy, let's do three, three, three more attempts. And I reckon in three more attempts, you're going to be able to do it. So jump on. You want to try and quickly sprint out and then just quickly hold to the right and try and grab onto the ladder and see if you can do it. Come on, oh, nearly, nearly, just a little bit too close to the, the ladder that time. You've got 20 seconds left. You've got time for a few more attempts. Can you get on top of it? Come on, you did the first one so well. And oh, no, it's, uh, it's very difficult. It is very, very difficult. And, oh, I thought you had it then. I thought you had it there, Amy. You've got 10 seconds left on the clock. you still got time to do it. If you're really, really fast, you could still just about do it. Come on, don't give up. Never give up when you're trying anything and you still might be able to succeed and oh no, time has sadly run out. <laughs> I did. No worries though, Amy. You still uh, managed to get uh, some clothes up on the other uh, washing line and it's only a game. <laughs> I did. Anyway, so let's go and uh, reset it and then uh, I need to go and uh, have my go and uh, see if I can uh, beat Lee Bear. So I need to go and uh, put a little bit more soap uh, over here into the uh, the Sudbud dispenser and uh, that's a good idea as well, Lee Bear. It's probably a good idea for us to all have a, a little bit of a nap uh, so then that way we won't have uh, too many uh, googlies coming after us. Let's go into bed and then I can go and have my game uh, in the morning. So uh, the time for me to beat is 2 minutes and 47 seconds. That's how long uh, it took Lee Bear uh, to get all of his clothes uh, and uh, put them up on the uh, the washing line. So that uh, is the uh, the time to beat. So it looks like I'm going to be trying to, to clean these uh, kind of smelly grey looking clothes. So I'll start the timer in 3, 2, 1, go. Right, the timer has begun. Let's go and grab the clothes and I'm going to wear my clothes. I think I'm going to look good in them. There we go. They're a little bit dirty <laughs> but I still think I look good in them. Right, so this one's supposed to be the easy one. This is the Sudbud one. Can I get up? There we go. No problems whatsoever. Oh no! Oh no! Amy's been chased by a googly. Amy's been chased by a glue googly. I need to stop the game and I need to try and save her. Oh, there we go. Nicely done, Amy. <laughs> Taking out the uh, the creepers. Right. Now let's go and stand over here and let's go now and try and clean the clothes. I guess I'll clean these uh, socks first and I'll put them up on the uh, the washing line. Right there we go. One down in a pretty good timing there. And now on to the the second one. This is the one uh, that Amy Lee was struggling with a bit. And oh, nearly, nearly, yes, just about uh, able to to get up there. So there we go. That's the uh, the rinse, prince one done. Now. 
now. I need to go over here and uh, try and uh, clean something else. Let's go and uh, get the, the helmet. And I'm going to go and put that uh, on the uh, the back of the washing line here. Nope, I'm just going to put it back on my head again. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> All right, let's go and uh, grab this and put it down here and place it up on the washing line. Right, on to the, the next one, on to the, uh, the green one. And Amy is there determined to do it. Let's see if you can keep doing it, Amy. Keep practicing and uh, see if you can do it by the time I'm able to get these ones. And oh, can I do it? Nearly, nearly. Yes, there we go. I was just about able to, to grip on and uh, go and get onto the uh, the top of this one. So there we go. I am doing this in a really good time now. I'm probably as quick, uh, if not even quicker, uh, than Lee Bear was when he got to the, the final one. But this is what it all comes down to. This is the most difficult one there is. It is really, really tough. So I need to go and run jump and try and get knocked up so I can go and land on the uh, the ladder but of course uh, sometimes uh, you get fruit firing out rather than arrows so <laughs> I'm gonna have to, to deal with that when it comes hopefully I don't get it too much though and uh, I don't know really what the technique is uh, kind of I just guess keep jumping at it until you get lucky and oh nope I didn't get lucky then because I got an apple that is not what I was looking for for once I would rather be shot with an arrow uh, rather than getting given some food <laughs> right let's go and try and keep going now I think if I just do as many attempts as I can I will eventually get up I think I got some some more fruit yeah, I got a, uh, another apple then. Right, let's, oh, oh, nearly! Oh, I nearly had it there, Lieber! I was so close! I just slipped off the end. I think I could have made it there, but I just slipped off the end. Oh, that was uh, another apple, I think, there. I've got a, a whole load of apples, but not much luck getting on the top. Oh, there we go! I did it! I was able to get on the top, and there we go. I've dispensed out the, the soap, and I can just about do this in time if I'm really fast. Let's go. Oh, no, I keep missing the bone meal. I keep missing the bone meal. There we go. I was able to, to dye the, the pants, and let's put them up on the washing line, and yes! There we go! I was just about able to beat Lee Bear's time by about 20 seconds or so. <laughs> oh dear, really good game though, Lee Bear. Really good game. And uh, Amy, did you have any uh, any luck getting up on the, uh, the soap dispenser or... No, okay. Well, it doesn't matter. You know what? You might not be quite as good at jumping as me and Lee Bear, but you're much better at swimming than us. If I had to try and swim, uh, as, as a cat, I just flour, uh, flail around in the water, and yeah, I don't like the water very much, so <laughs> you're better at swimming, uh, but we're better at jumping. Uh, but what this does mean is that I am going to be the employee of the month uh, of the uh, the Clean Machine Laundrette. So let's uh, all go and uh, head over there now, and I can go and put up my sign uh, in honour of my uh, victory today. So I do have a, uh, a sign down in here already. Uh, so I can go and grab this, and uh, we can go and run to the uh, the laundrette, and uh, we can go and uh, clean the, the rest of the clothes. And tell you what, Amy, as uh, soon as you didn't uh, get a chance to clean all of your clothes, uh, you can go and uh, put them in one of the um, uh, in one of the, the washing machines over here, if you'd like. Uh, there's a Lee Bear keeping guard. I don't really know whether laundrettes normally have doormen, Lee Bear. I don't think uh, there's normally too much trouble in laundrettes. There's normally people just coming to clean their clothes, but <laughs> you can never be too sure. Right then, let's uh, put this sign up somewhere. Let's go and put it up here uh, by the, uh, the front door, uh, so everyone We'll see as they're leaving. And I need to put up employee of the month, Stampy Cat. So, um, I've got to spell this right now, don't I? Employee. No, let's do this right. Employee. That's how, whenever I'm not uh, sure how to spell a word, I just kind of spell it out like that. Employee of, and then the month, and then I should hopefully be able to spell Stampy as that is the, my name of the month. Let's type this as fast as I can and then Stampy because I was able to win. That was a fun game and as I said it was a, a lot harder than it looks. I think me and Lee Bear uh, did much better that time uh, than we did uh, when we practiced uh, before the game so uh, normally it's uh, even harder than it looked but there we go. Employee of the month Stampy. Whoop 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 whoop. And uh, do you want to, to clean your, your clothes Amy seeing as uh, you weren't able to, to clean them all. Uh, there's all sorts of different soaps here. We've got the Sudbud. We've got the, uh, the Rinse Prince over here. The Clean and Sheen Green gleam or the uh, the fruity uh, uh, fragrance uh, which is our most popular one yep going for the uh, the most popular fruity fragrance <laughs> and so yeah you should just get a, a little bit of fruit out then if you come over here you can pick a, a washing machine and then if you switch the uh, the lever it will go and uh, open up and uh, then you can go and throw uh, all of your clothes in uh, as well as throwing in the uh, the fruit as well uh, which is going to give the uh, the clothes a, a nice smell so you can go and throw all of the the dirty clothes in and then we can go and shut up the the washing machine uh, press the button which will start the water and there we go all of your clothes are going to get nice and clean and then they're going to smell absolutely beautiful. So your clothes uh, were able to get cleaned in the end of the day anyway. And Lee Bear, what are you, are you putting swords and cake into the washing machine? You're going to clog up the mechanism. What are you doing? <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, we have sadly just about run out of time in this episode here. Hopefully uh, you all uh, enjoyed watching it. In my next episode, I'm going to be heading back to my fun land uh, to build a desert filmed mini game, uh, which I think uh, you're going to really enjoy seeing. So yeah, there'll be a link to that in the description if you want to go and check that out. Uh, but for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!